All right, so we got Jake Grunt versus Mouse Rat, two very, very lethal Tri-State players uh, coming out right now. Uh, so I know Jake Grunt has talked about how Greninja does not really lose any matchups, so he thinks this matchup is very, very even for Greninja. So I want to see how he plays it, because there are... Grunt Gang does have a, a bunch of really good Pikachu players in it, so I'm sure he's got a lot of online Pikachu matchup experience. There's Mr. L. Yeah, there's Mr. L. I think we have Bueno, Cookie King. There's like a lot of really good Pikas out there online. Uh, but Mouse Rat, if, if you've been in Tri-State and you've been on Elite Smash or just in any Tri-State tournament, you've probably run into Mouse Rat at least once. My man is, is, is always out here at all times. So he's, he's basically the final boss of Pikachu when it comes to Tri-State. So right now, Jay Grunt just trying to pick out these jumps right here from Mouse Rat. I like how Mouse Rat's just using T Jolt, just trying to stay as low committal as possible against uh, Jay Grunt. Oh boy. Yeah, Mouse Rat trying to feel it out. Both of these characters are super duper slippery to hit, so they'll probably just be trying to get chip hits on each other. I'd say Pikachu's mix on Greninja is a little bit better than Greninja's mix on Pikachu. Uh, so, we're probably gonna see Mouse Rat winning a lot more of these interactions in the majority of the time, but Jay Grunt's probably just gonna try and move around and be as hard to move as possible. So that is one of the things that Greninja really, really excels at. Assuming he'll probably be looking for like a down tilt or something right around this, because I think he's around like down tilt up smash percent. Uh, I believe Mouse Rat is probably looking for a dash attack pretty soon, but I, uh, Mouse Rat's also very, very good at not uh, sleeping on the rest of Pika's kill conditions. Like he, he, he knows that Pika pretty much has anything at their disposal when it comes to killing, whether it be forward air, back air. Uh, drag down Nair, down smash, like every move in Pika's arsenal can be pretty much considered a kill move uh, around the 120 to 160-ish percent range. It's almost an up throw percent. Yeah, there he goes. Bye -bye. He's, he's on the lighter side. See you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is a very light frog. My man, my man is very paper thin. And here comes the Pikachu blender. Welcome to the blender, blender Jake Run. <laughs> So right now, like I, I, I really think that Greninja does tend to struggle around this area when it comes to like trying to pick up a kill, especially against small characters like Pika, who can kind of navigate around really, really quickly. Uh, it's just gonna really revolve around how Jake Run deals with Mouse Rats out of shield. I feel like a lot of the time. Good recovery right there from Jake Grunt. Yeah, uh, Greninja's recovery is pretty linear. It can be switched in a lot of different directions, but it's probably the most vulnerable Greninja ever is uh, in a match. So I, li I like that he tried to hug the stage because Pika is an edge guarding monster. Oh, great grab right there. Yeah, he's been conditioning Jay Grunt to shield this pretty much entire time with uh, 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 T Joel. Oh, good counter. Getting out of there. I kind of saw it coming. It just looks like Mouse Rat is so, so comfortable in this matchup thus far. He just knows that if he doesn't give Jay Grunt any openings, there's really nothing he can do to get hit. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All mash? That was insane. Yeah, that, that, that will kill sometimes. It's also a very, very powerful move you don't see for Pika a lot of the time. But once it connects off stage at like max uh, charge, it is it is pretty powerful. Not quite yet. I think one more F, F throw will probably kill Pika out here. It's just, Jay Grunt just seems to be struggling to pin Mouse Rat down or just find his final chip hit in. I'd probably like to see him mix up a little bit more with Water Shuriken just to disrupt Mouse Rat's tempo a little bit because right now I think he's looking pretty stuck. 
it, it, it can be tough because Greninja's hitboxes are very, very precise, so he really needs to land. Uh, he, he can't really afford to just swing willy-nilly. He's got to really pinpoint where exactly the opponent's going to be before he hits them. Uh, Pika, Pika could just turn into a pancake and move around everywhere, though. I just think Jade Run can the condition shield. That's all he needs to do. Just throw out a couple of water shurikens, and if Mouse Rat stays in shield, then let's go for a grab. He's hunted for this grab right now. You can definitely see it. Uh, even landing there, too, is pretty powerful, this percent. I don't think it'll kill, but it'll definitely do a lot. Uh, to, to I also think Mouse Rat's patience is really helping him either. He's just. Oh, yeah. Every time Jade Run tries to approach, Mouse Rat kind of just runs away. Fear versus Jolt. It's like he gets annoying. Right, there Finally we go. getting the kill with the pair. Yeah, you, now that you mentioned, I do see Mouse Rats just being very, very patient, really not overcommitting, and not even trying to stick around for any potential type of overextension or anything like that. Once he thinks he's even in any sort of remote danger, he just dips out immediately. And doesn't want to get And I think that's you know, that's really sending Jay Grunt a tizzy right now. You know what I always found funny? I always see Mouse Rat doing like these jabs at ledge. Greninja really hangs low when he's on the ledge. I always found that funny. Oh. That was a good hydro pump right there to uh, maybe disrupt that a little bit. I would I would like to see Jay Grunt go for more hydro pumps on Pika's recovery because it, it can it is a pretty good disruptor on Pika's recovery a good amount of time. One of the few things that can actually challenge Pika's recovery. Yeah. And it'll it'll give you more time to set up too for a lot of stuff as well. It can even set it like knock it to a smash attack if you get Pika in free fall or something like that. But now. Now, unfortunately, we're dwindling down to the 30-second mark. I, I don't think oh! it's even remotely possible for Jay Grunt to make any sort of comeback at this point. If Mouse Rat, like Mouse Rat could literally wait on the Angel platform, and there's real, literally no way Pika. Yeah, that's that, that's bad. Yeah. That was tough. Yeah, he, he was just he was just deadlocked there. It's, he has to make more of an effort to like disrupt the tempo and just uh, beat the clock because Mouse Rat is not actively looking for the timeout, but he. He's definitely playing just so he can keep his lead more so than playing for the timeout. And <laughs> I love how he grabbed him and just looked him straight dead in the face. <laughs> like your demise. <laughs> your he's, demise. Like, he's like any final words. <laughs> oh man, that was just really, really good play right there from Mouse Rat. Jay Grunt just looked very, very uncomfortable. I wouldn't say he was freaking out to get it, but he was almost looking a little too passive. Uh, when trying to approach Mouse Rat. I want to see more hitboxes get thrown at or something like that. Might as well because I feel like swinging on Pika's shield is, is conditioning just a little bit. And I think more water shirt can just like, like randomly in neutral like once or twice uh, to catch Pika off guard. Because both these characters can close space really, really quickly. So I know Jay Grunt also has a Samus, but I don't think we're going to see it. I think we're gonna see him sticking with Greninja, and I lied. I lied right. Oh, through we are. <laughs> I lied right through my teeth to everybody. <laughs> uh, so we'll see what this does. I I think maybe he just wants to go for a more comfortable zoning game. He said that uh, this is how Mouse Rat wants to play it. So fine, we'll play his own. Plus, uh, the ability for Jay Grunt to use like Zare and stuff like that will definitely aid in him poking a bit more. Whoa, Dill typing in chat. Do my eyes deceive me? What's going on? I haven't heard from Dill in forever. Didn't even know if Dill was alive. Alright, though. Look, yeah, already Jay Grunt looking way more comfortable and just trying to play this zoning game with uh, Master. And I don't blame him one bit. I mean, if the opponent is going to want to play this defensive the entire time, you might as well go for a character that plays well in the defensive setting. Rather than a character that you'll need to get some mix on people. Love the movement around the platform as well, just using the the down beat just to move around secure ledge. I think the additional weight also that Samus offers can help a lot because we saw Jay Grunt dying to a lot of up throws and stuff like that, and Samus is just a tad bit heavier. This could help a little bunch. Little by little, he's like gaining the charge shot, which is really good. Nice punish on the thunder. Oh boy. 
Okay, really good left strong back air right there coming up from Mousetrap. Uh, now evening up this game just a bit more. Oh, overextending just a little bit out of shield right there, trying to land right on Mouse Rat. You gotta be careful for that, because Pikachu dash back F smash is probably, dash back F smash is just probably one of the best tools in the game for a lot of characters, especially characters with like F smashes at Pikachu. Really, really have to be careful with how you're jumping out of shield against a lot of characters. I'd say instead, like, I'd see Jay Grunt is going for these dares, probably just trying to get a knock up or like a guaranteed back air, nair, or up air. Okay, dash attack. Ooh, nice. Really good dash attack right there. Yeah. Samus dash attack is crazy powerful. It's, re it's really, really good for catching dashbacks, too. The grab, let's see. No conversion off of it. I do like the additional respect that Jay Grunt has been giving Mouse Rat uh, with shielding for a majority of the set so far. It's definitely been saving him from a lot of whip punishes potentially. He's just been opting a reset. Control. That being said, it seems like Mouse Rat has become a bit more acclimated to how Jay Grunt has been moving throughout the stage and uh, has been playing super duper aggressive and just closing space. Like Jay Grunt just knows that Mouse Rat's gonna be patient, he might as well just use a donor. Yeah. That way, every time he tries to commit, it's like, okay, well, now you're getting hit by Missile, you're getting hit by Bomb, you're getting hit by Charge Shot. So it's like, it forces Mouse Rat to move in ways that he previously didn't need to move. Yeah. So he's staying a lot more grounded, and that ground game is allowing Jay Grunt to get all this damage. Yeah, it's also allowing him additional escape tools too, because if Pika's, Pika's not full stage, like, pretty much camping you with the T-Jolt, uh, you can get out of a scary, scary situation just given how small Pika is the majority of the time as well. That being said, Mouse Rat, I think, is almost fully caught on at this point to how Jay Grunt is moving, has been kind of putting on a lot of pressure with keeping him in the corner. Samus, I, I do say, struggles probably around mid-range the most, just because she doesn't really have a lot at her disposal besides catching jumps. Uh, to really deal with like good out of shield game when upbeat isn't a immediate option. Ooh. Oof. Almost sharp shooting that right there. Oh boy. This is this is a good spot for Jay Grunt to finally set up. Oh, so good. Beautiful ledge play. Beautiful ledge play. Oh, I love that setup with the bomb charge shot. Yeah, it, for, it, for, it, it'll force Mouse Rat to jump if Mouse Rat doesn't want to get hit. I'd say, but even if Mouse Rat does eat it and tries to get like the, the trade off by like getting hit by it, it still pops Pika up just enough to get hit by that charge shot. So that was a really, really great setup right there with Jigger. And with, with two minutes left on the clock, I don't think we're going to be seeing a timeout uh, this game, but it seems like. Jay Grunt looks far more comfortable just zoning out uh, Mouse Rat. Kind of, kind of beating Mouse Rat at his own game, to be honest. I also just love how Jay Grunt has been picking his spots. He's just been waiting for his opportunity just like the majority of the time. He's been overextending in any way, shape, or form. He's almost waited for... He's like waiting for one of his hits to connect from his zoning tools, and then he follows up with an aggressive attack, or, or normal. That being said though, Mouse Rat's slowly ticking on this damage, anything can really happen. Uh, oh, getting caught by the charge shot. Yeah, charge shot really, really great for catching quick attack. Just because it's so big. I think Jay Grunt trying to find uh, dash attack, like charge shot and dash attack, because I do know charge shot does combo into a good amount of stuff. That was a good option off ledge, just we weren't running to the up smash. Seems like Mouse Rat gets a lot of stuff off of that. He almost always gets the dash attack. Ooh, that could be it. No, not quite yet. Yeah, Emma's do be heavy. We got a minute left on the clock though, so something's gonna have to happen pretty soon. Oh no, that's, that's it. That's not it, is it? No, no. Oh uh, yeah. Samus air dodge is very, very long, especially if it's done from stage. I don't know what happened there. I think my man just got caught in a very compromising position. Tried to jump and avoid. Oh, okay. He tried to air dodge back to ledge uh, after getting hit uh, and 
Samus's air dodge was not far enough to carry through to get the magnet hands, and unfortunately, Jay Grunt kind of had to eat the L there. Hate to see it happen, but in, in, in high pressure situations like that, you have to be very, very careful with how you get back to stage. I think he thought he'd just be able to air dodge back or go on for something else. Pretty unfortunate, but really, really good stuff to master at for just keeping the adaptation. Uh, in matchups where the opponent tends to be heavier than Pika, you really, really have to just keep chipping on damage until you can get your kill. Uh, even though Pika is like the best character in the game, you have to... You really, really have to hang in there and not be too overzealous with your advantage, and he did just that. He played that really, really well. <coughs> So yeah, that'll be Mouse Rat, I believe, also in winner's side uh, top eight. He will have to fight off against Joshathan G. Um, who we got next? I think Joe Pone and Mega are up next, I believe. If I just look at the overlay that 